Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about common hepatotoxic drugs. We will also cover some of the toxins that may also damage the liver. Hepatotoxicity is an important point for the, for the prescription of medication because many drugs are metabolized in the liver. If the liver is not functioning nicely or if there is any liver disease, then the toxicity will be worse. So it depends on the functions of the liver. And also there are many factors. There may be individual factor. There may be idiosyncrasy. And also hepatotoxicity may be aggravated in certain type of drug interactions. So let's start what drug drugs causes hepatotoxicity. Analgesic, painkiller and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Analgesic acetaminophen, also called paracetamol, also called Tylenol. This is a drug if it is taken to, to a big dose or for many days, then it may cause hepatotoxicity along with other toxicities. Aspirin may lead to Reye's syndrome, especially in children with viral disease. If they get aspirin, then there may be fatal fulminant hepatitis and cerebral edema. So it may lead to hepatic encephalopathy that may be fatal. So in case of fever, it is better to take acetaminophen not to take aspirin. And aspirin is, if aspirin is given to a patient who has viral infection, then there is chance to get Reye's syndrome, especially in children. Anti-rheumatic drug, all of these drugs, they, they modify the disease process and this drug may lead to liver toxicity, liver damage. Okay. Then muscle relaxant like metaxalon, tijanidin, dentrolin that may lead to hepatotoxicity, any of this drug. Drug used in heart disease, Ina, inamrinone, a drug used for positive inotropic action on the heart, bosentan, endothelial receptor antagonist. These drugs are potential hepatotoxic drugs. Anti-diabetic drug like puglitagen and rosiglitagen. These are insulin sensitizer and oral hypoglycemic drug. Acra, acarbos and millitol alpha glucosidase inhibitor and hypoglycemic drug. So all of them or them lead to liver toxicity, liver damage to certain percentage of population. Okay, the anti-TB drug like rifampicin, isoniazide, also called INH, isonicotinic acid hydrazide, pyrogenamide. These all are potential hepatotoxic drug and this is very much notorious to cause hepatotoxicity, pyrogenamide. If a patient induces the hepatic enzyme, so it may interact with other drug and that way it may also damage the liver. Anti-hyperlipidemic drug, all the statin, HMG coenzyme inhibitor and niacin, they lead to their, these are potential hepatotoxic drugs anti-fungal drug, drug like ketoconazole, griseofulbin, amphotericin D. All of them are potentially hepatotoxic. Antibiotic, tetracycline, may damage the liver in certain parts of the population and it is contraindicated during pregnancy. It is contraindicated before the age of 18. Erythromycin, that may lead to hepatotoxicity, liver damage, ampicillin, amoxicillin. Hepatotoxicity is very rare and reversible, but 
still there is possibility to certain percentage of population inhalation anesthetic like desflurane isoflurane halothane all of them may cause liver damage hepatotoxicity anti parkinsonian drug like tolcapone this is this is a commit inhibitor pargolide dopamine receptor agonist this is a neurotransmitter this receptor agonist this drug they are hepatotoxic potentially immunosuppressive drug like as a theoprine cyclosporine again they are potentially hepatotoxic to certain percent of the population and it depends on the liver function of all this drug so it is essential to assess the liver function test periodically and patients should get medication with doctor supervision or follow up anti-epileptic drug carbamazepine valproic acid again these are potentially hepatotoxic list of anti-cancer drug okay a lot of anti-cancer drug all of them are hepatotoxic that may damage the liver that may lead to jaundice and there may be hepatic failure drug interaction only one drug may damage the liver multiple drug may cause more damage to the liver in certain situation doctors used to prescribe multiple medication like in case of tuberculosis we need multiple drug therapy for at least six months for leprosy multiple drug therapy for at least three years so when you get multiple drug all of them are metabolized to the liver so there is more chance to get liver damage and hepatotoxicity so this patient and all other patients who are taking potentially hepatotoxic drug should be under doctor doctor surveillance and so they need periodic hepatic function test that means liver function test it, that is done by studying the enzyme study and also by clinical examination erythromycin interact with furosemide this is a diuretic and fluorouracil it is an anti-cancer drug so this this and this and that this all combination will aggravate liver damage damage combination of alcohol and acetaminophen especially in the chronic alcoholic person he if you take acetaminophen apparently it is a harmless medication but it may damage the liver this is the tylenol or paracetamol acetaminophen interact with beta blocker this is there is an anti-hypertensive drug or barbiturate or anti-tb drug ins isonicotinic acid hydrazide or isoniazide sulfine pyrazone this is used in case of gout phenytoin used in case of epilepsy so interaction of two or more of this drug may aggravate liver damage may cause liver failure combination of alcohol and carbon tetrachloride certainly that will lead to liver failure herbal supplement like kaba kaba used to people like to get that herbal supplement for insomnia or muscle strain or anxiety but this is a potentially this is a hepatotoxic substance okay other hepatotoxic drug and drugs and toxin tacrine tacrine is a drug used in alzheimer's disease because alzheimer's disease patient lost the cholinergic neuron in the brain so this is the drug of choice initial drug but this drug may lead to liver damage it is hepatotoxic drug anti-tiponosomiasis especially the african type of tiponosomiasis sleeping sickness okay that is managed by malar sopron for african tiponosomiasis or sleeping sickness 
and that is a hepatotoxic drug. Antidepressant, a typical antidepressant drug like monoamine oxidase inhibitor like the ipronazide, tenalciframin. They are atypical when the typical antidepressant drug does not work. Physician prescribe this medication. Okay, especially depression with phobia and depression with other features. Atypical depression, monoamine oxidase inhibitor is the drug of choice but it may lead to liver damage along with a very much dangerous situation that may increase the blood pressure that may lead to tyramine when the person take with it with that of tyramine the blood pressure may go up that is called serotonin syndrome herbal supplement kaba kaba we just discussed that it is used in case of insomnia muscle muscle strain and this is this may lead to liver damage. Certain mushroom, arsenic or arsenic products, carbon tetrachloride, copper, heavy metal, ethanol, this is an alcohol, there is hepatotoxic, iron, again heavy metal, phenol, PCB, thallium, all may lead to hepatotoxicity. So, a lot of drug lot of medication, lot of prescribed medication, some over-the-counter medication and some toxin may lead to hepatotoxicity. It does not happen to everyone. It depends on the liver function. If liver function is good, it may not happen. It happened to a certain percentage of the population. Okay, there may be individual variation and also depends on the liver function. Only the diseased or sick liver may cause more problem and very quick hepatic failure, liver failure. Drug interaction may aggravate the hepatotoxicity. And there may be idiosyncrasy. Some individual may be more prone to develop liver damage like halothen in certain group of people. Okay, their number is very small, but there may be idiosyncrasy. And that's all about the hepatotoxic drug common hepatotoxic drug and some toxins. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.